Well, greetings viewers, warriors. We've got that funk, and this is a video response to my friend Stone Commander, who left a comment on my video earlier today asking what I sort of thought about the uh, seemingly fragile relationships that people get into on YouTube. And, you know, um, I recognize that that happens. Uh, I think it happens in real life as well. Pretty often people are transient through one another's life. I think the internet speeds everything up in that regard. It's also really easy to befriend someone on an intellectual level and then when you learn more about them you find out that they're not as likable as you once thought they were. It's perfectly normal and that kind of thing can develop uh, PDQ on YouTube you know so there's that. But I would also point out I mean you know how long have you and I known each other SC? What? Since 09 right? So that's getting close to seven years since we met. I think we met in the Ponage Olympics back in early 09. Um, and we've always got along fine. We don't see eye to eye on all kinds of things, but it's never gotten in the way of a conversation or I think mutual admiration. You know, I like where you're coming from. I think you're an interesting guy. And I'm pretty sure it's mutual, you know. And so I don't think it's fragile. You know, people are allowed to disagree and people who are mature enough to disagree without being dicks and without necessarily going oh well I can't be friends with you now because we disagree I mean I, I just find that attitude extremely immature you know um, I, I'm subscribed to people and people who are subscribed to me uh, there's quite a lot of us that are extremely different individuals you know and um, I don't mind it when uh, I disagree with someone or when they disagree with me. It doesn't make uh, me lower my opinion of everything else I've thought about them based on the understanding we've managed to build up here in pixels and comment sections on YouTube. You know, I'll take as an example my friend Sarah Hondo Six. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Sarah Hondo made a video response to a video I'd made to Ghost Today in person, and uh, you know, Sarah Hondo. Um, was pretty critical of where he thought I was coming from and and that's fine you know me and Sarah on go back as long as you and I go back and um, bottom line is you know I don't have any loss of regard or respect for him and I'm sure the same is mutual just because we sort of see something differently so what you know we've got lots more in common and uh, you don't just chuck someone overboard because you disagree about something unless it's like vitally important um, and I think so yeah there are some seemingly fragile relationships that can develop on the tubes but I think the opposite is true as well I mean there's some relationships that have endured for quite a long time and in the face of disagreements and in the face of long absences from the tubes and uh, you know no direct contact for long periods of time and so on so I, I don't necessarily agree with the premise that uh, YouTube relationships are fragile but I know there certainly are a lot of them and they come and go and I think that's just natural that's the way people relate and like I said before the internet tends to speed that kind of thing up a bit so there's my two cents I want to thank you for watching this video and until next time may all your ups and downs be ups